if we are going to grow to a measure of the fullness of his stature, everything around us must also be established by prophecy. Very key is our identity in Christ Jesus. The shaking that we may be experiencing in our individual lives is really not what is the big deal in the sight of God. Like we said, see, he will suspend daily bread so that he can cause you to look up and say, God, where are you? And he wants to take you on a journey to self-discovery so that you can also come according to the volume of books of what is written concerning you. You are an arrow in the quiver of a mighty man. You, you need to be shot right. So the priest in you must arise to pick prophetic words and anoint the king for what? Anoint the king for battle. Anoint the king for conquest. There has to be a grace of God that accompanies you as you rise every morning and you move out. That orders your steps. That regulates your conduct. In the learning of Christ, he sat in the temple, read scripture and said, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. He didn't come anyhow. Hallelujah. We have not so learned Christ. Coming and waking up and moving around without understanding what was scripted about us, we have not worked so learned Christ. The only antidote. To not doing things by the flesh is to grow. The logic of Christ is not to focus on what is wrong with you. It is to grow out of it. Yes. To focus on the desires of the flesh is to focus on the wrong thing. Is to magnify what is wrong. Is to magnify death. Is to focus on death when you should focus on life. The life of God. For where there is death, there is much more life. For where sin abounds, grace did much more abound. Focus on the author of life, on the giver of grace. Grow.